It's a story we first broke here on 12 News. A former state senator who's now running for the vacant seat of a disgraced congressman accused of exchanging text messages with a Capitol staffer. And tonight that woman is expressing regret for sexting Steve Montenegro. Montenegro at first calling the alleged affair tabloid trash, now saying he did nothing inappropriate. Team 12's Bianca Bono is joining us live from the Alert Center with what else we're learning tonight. Bianca? Well, Mark Caribe, we're now learning the allegations go way beyond what we first reported. The former Capitol staffer's attorney saying she sent Steve Montenegro several nude photos on Snapchat where they also had sexually explicit conversations. Nearly a year's worth of text messages between congressional candidate Steve Montenegro and a female Senate staffer now public. I'm here to talk on behalf of a woman who was taken advantage of by one of the most powerful men sitting in the state Senate. Stephanie Holford saying she started texting with Montenegro in February of last year. At the time, she was a newly hired digital media coordinator for the Arizona Senate. Montenegro, a state senator. She says at first, their texts were strictly professional, but they quickly turned personal and flirtatious. The 31-year-old's attorney reading a statement on her behalf. I began to send pictures of myself in various states of undress. Senator Montenegro asked me to send them on Snapchat instead. Holford says she and Montenegro had sexually explicit conversations about the nude selfies, but she doesn't have copies of them because Snapchat messages and pictures vanish after the recipient sees them. He was grooming her for a sexual relationship in the way that he was texting her and communicating with her. Montenegro, a married man and church minister, initially dismissing the allegations, calling our initial report false tabloid trash. The embattled candidate now changing his tune, saying in a statement, I have already made clear that Ms. Holford and I were friends, that while I allowed our friendship to become too familiar and that she did, without solicitation from me, send me an inappropriate picture, I never had inappropriate relationship with her or anyone else. Holford saying she never intended to make their affair public that her ex-boyfriend downloaded the texts and topless photo from her computer without her permission and then gave it to the media. The mere offering to show those pictures or that information is an act of revenge porn. And this controversy coming just days before Tuesday's Republican primary, some leading female Republicans are urging Montenegro to drop out of the race. We're live in the Alert Center, Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10.